It won't come off. Uh, this is going to be a problem. Are you cured? <laughs> Uh, boy, I, I don't make a habit of touching your hair, but when I do, my hand gets greasy. It's not grease, I don't, man. I don't touch your hair often, but when I do, my hand gets greasy. It's product. I almost feel guilty putting this historical um, mm, spark plug on the mm, mythical mail boulder. <laughs> Sometimes. All right, Jason, let's move this back over here, please. Because if... if uh, if we do it afterward, I'll feel guilty for not helping you. Thank you. All right, part your, you should part your hair the other way. No, you're good. All right, so we've got three pieces of advice, and I also promised that we would keep singing this song. Uh, you sing a lot of this song. I thought it was pretty great. Um, remember, this, this um, the guy who paints dishwashers, uh, his story, I'm gonna give you some. You have a need. He's, he's got a spark plug he sent to us. Backstory, maybe? Mm -hmm. no, no, never mind. Just go for it. If you have a need. If you have a need for somebody to touch up your dishwasher in a way that requires paint, just call this man. What's his name? Jerry Stauffer. Jerry Stauffer in Continental Ohio. You take over right here, buddy. He's got the skills. He's got the brush. Oh, yeah. He knows what he must do to your dishwasher when he comes to your house. He'll break it out. Start stroking the dishwasher with paint. <laughs> He'll make he's it a right. dishwasher. Stroking the dishwasher with paint. Keep going. I want to. He's a dishwasher painter man? Yeah, we're going to. Uh, Cor a chorus? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep playing the same chords, though. It's one of those kinds of songs. I'm just going to keep singing, stroking the dishwasher with paint. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's a dishwasher dish with, dish with paint. A man. Stroking the dishwasher with paint. Stroking it, stroking it, stroking it, stroking it. That dishwasher dish with paint. Dishwasher paint. It's just paint. A he likes brush strokes on the dishwasher. Yeah, nothing inappropriate about that. Would you like it in taupe? Would you like it in mauve? Would you like it in white? Cause that's a that's conservative very way to go. That's most of the paint I own. Tope mauve and white, tope mauve and white. These stroke days. it at day, stroke it at night on the dishwasher with my paintbrush. Nothing inappropriate about that. Wow. Oh, you, you should take back over. <laughs> my business is really hurting lately cause everybody likes stainless steel. Stainless steel, that's all I see in the model homes. <laughs> and when I try to paint them, the paint just drips off, drips off. The paint just drips off the washing machine. <laughs> but they've got this thing <laughs> called brushed steel. Oh, and I can brush that steel like a maniac. So like you can get the business. brush strokes on the steel. Brush strokes on the steel. <laughs> now I'm stroking the steel. <laughs> <laughs> With my paintbrush, it actually is a. What would he use? He would use a. Steel wool? Steel wool. Yeah, yeah. Steel, steel, steel wool. wool. Jacob wool. Andrew Cashmore asks My hair is flat and boring. How do I make it more interesting but without going too over the top and attention grabbing? Any advice from Rhett will be golden. <sighs> In other words, he wants you to give advice on how to kind of have a hairstyle like yours, but not to go as extreme as yours. Uh, uh. You don't. You don't seem to be the person to ask. <laughs> Seems like I should be the one answering that. You mean you think your hair is interesting? <laughs> no, it's just that you've demonstrated. I think your opinion would be, oh, you should just emulate me. No, I think you can do a junior version of this. You know, you could do a JV version of my hair. I mean, it's it's okay. That would work. Um, how does he make it more interesting without going over the top? Well, first of all, a JV version of your hair. <laughs> I mean, no, period. Seriously, uh, this is this is over the top. Uh, people judge me because of this. Uh, I'm just, just discriminated against because of my hair, and uh, people think that I care too much about myself. I've experienced that quite a few times. So just make it shorter. And I just say, listen. you look like you're in the military. I just say, listen, man, it's in a logo. What can I do? 
Uh, Ryan Street asks, how much beard is too much beard? I would say about that much. Oh, you trimmed. I didn't even notice. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't notice. It's, uh, yeah, a while back, actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not like I look at your face all the time. Um, I look through you all the time, I'm just gonna be honest. Really, I thought that your beard, it, I really had a moment of surprise. I thought your beard was still long. It's been like a, I don't even know, you've trimmed it a while? <laughs> I'm sorry. A couple days ago. Oops. How long Red's ago. beard was? Uh, first of all, that's not too much beard. Are you, what are you, you're crazy. Too much beard is when you trip on it. I mean, the, too, no, you know what? Too much beard. Well, yeah, clearly, that's too also much too beard, much beard. Every man's beard grows to, a, and some women have beards. So, uh, every man's beard grows to a point in which it point? cannot grow anymore. But then why did you trim your beard? Uh, just for consistency. I didn't think I had too much beard. I think I, had, I think I could keep going. Too less consistency. What do you mean consistency? Like a cake batter? Just, just you know, predictability. You don't want to scare people. It, it, it draws uh, opinions. Kyle Keyworth uh, states, "I've been wearing the same style of clothes for a while now, now, but I don't think it's making me stand out enough." People, see, he wants to stand out more. What should I change? my new style to be. Well, without a point of reference for what your style is, Kyle. Style Kyle. At least you've got that going for you. Your name rhymes with style. I'm just trying, to, change I'm his trying name. to be gracious here. You could here. change his name to style. Style Keyworth. Um, I think tank, a tank top. <laughs> what should I change my new style to be? If you're the guy. That guy who wears a tank top? Wears a tank top in every circumstance. I think that could work. Break out your guitar. Let's just let's have a slow fade on this one. First ever slow fade on a good mythical more. Uh, thanks for your loyal viewership. Don't forget about Jerry. Don't forget about Jerry. Don't forget about Jerry. Don't forget about Jerry. Over there with his paintbrush. Over there with his paintbrush. You know exactly what he's doing with the paintbrush. You know exactly what he's doing with his paintbrush on the dishwasher. A little bit sad what he's doing to the dishwasher. 